buckle up. The main thing I want them to see, to, to understand, is that God is really, truly in control. That he is the author of our lives. He's writing our story. I want people to, to, to realize that in God's hands, there's nothing to fear. If, if the light of the world is with you, what can the darkness do? Um, well, definitely having a child diagnosed with cancer. That was the, the sort of big, big moment where your faith really gets put to the test. And like, okay, we talk about God being good. We talk about God being in control. Now's the time to act on that, to live as though we actually believe it. Storm clouds, I actually, are one of my very favorite things to, to come across. So, um, and I just love the metaphor of, you know, the storm coming and then that verse that um, William Cowper or Cooper, however you say it, um, the clouds ye so much dread are big with mercy and shall break in blessings on your head. And I love that metaphor because it's, it's very much that, that same theme of what I'm talking about, these hard moments, these dark things, these things that seem insurmountable and terrifying are, those, are the very things that God uses to bless us the most deeply. Um, in a lot of ways, yeah, because bo in both cases, what you're doing is paying very close attention to the details around you. And I think good writing does that. It, it notices what's happening. It notices the, those, those little details that other people miss. And that's really why I started taking landscape photography in the car on the way to the hospital in the first place is because it's like I'm seeing these things and it's so easy to just be on your way to the airport and you drive past it and you're not paying attention and what it what I wanted to do is just freeze this and and give it to people and say look at this yeah. <laughs> in that sense that's a, that's exactly the same reason that I write is I want to give people something and say pay attention look at this look what God's doing do you see it <laughs>